dangerous Campi Flegri supervolcano is waking up, putting 500,000 lives at risk. That's the minimum, because as we see here, Naples sits in between the left volcano Campi, Campi Flegri and to the right, Mount Vesuvius. Take your pick. They're both dangerous. But anyway, concerning Campi Flegri, a supervolcano, it last erupted 500 years ago, spewing ash across the whole of Europe for eight consecutive days, and now is showing signs of reawakening. The Campi Flegri is a supervolcano, which is eight miles wide, lies beneath the Bay of Naples in southern Italy. It contains a whopping 24 craters, along with numerous geysers and vents. Now, if we take a look at the map of Italy, that whole area that looks like a shoe ready to kick a ball, that whole area, which is a huge bay type of thing, seems to be filled with volcanoes and seems to be a super volcano of its own. And if you look at it from the air, you're saying something is missing there. Now, uh, this is a subduction zone, as we know. The African plate is going underneath the European plate, and the Mediterranean Sea is becoming smaller and smaller because of that. There has been a recent decrease in the gas pressure at the supervolcano, which combined with an increase in temperature of the hydrothermal reservoir means that the magma may be approaching critical degassing pressure. The scientists wrote in the journal Nature magazine, it's also, they've also recently found that there's a buildup of magma there from their satellite imaging of the area. The supervolcano is Italian for uh, burning fields, Campi Flegri, burning fields in Italian, has notable eruptions that occurred 39,000 and 12,000 years ago. The first eruption caused heinous weather changes, toxic levels of sulfur in the air, causing dark red sunsets for a year, and tons of acid rain. As the volcano sits directly under more than half a million people, which means that the moment, at the moment the volcano will erupt, it will put the lives of all these people at risk. For comparison, when Mount Vesuvius erupted, 79 AD, and buried the Italian city of Pompeii in ash, 20 feet of ash, it killed 2,000 people. Those are the uh, people that didn't leave, obviously. The Italian government has raised the threat level of the supervolcano from green to yellow, meaning that it now requires scientific monitoring 24-7, according to National Geographic. Now, I'm going to leave a link below for you for this. Uh, there are two embedded videos that are really wonderful for you to see if you'd like. The uh, bottom one has a simulation of the Dame Pompeii full-length animation showing you uh, from the morning until night and to the next day what has changed, what has happened after the volcanic eruption buried the city in ash. And uh, it's a good thing to you know, for those who are interested in this. Two embedded videos, and I'll leave a link below for you for this. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece and Capota, and we also
help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.